Scientists have predicted what might happen to our planet over the next 500 years, and it's scary. Can you imagine what life on our planet will be like 500 years from now? Well, if some climate scientists are correct, our world in the 26th century will be a decidedly scary and challenging place in which to live. There are some scientists out there who believe that by the year 2500, our planet may have entered a new ice age, but many experts are pretty certain that we'll be experiencing quite the opposite. Some scientists predict that, thanks to our ongoing dependency on fossil fuels, our climate might be an average of 4 degrees hotter than it is today by the time we reach the year 2100. And while that may not sound like much, a temperature rise like this would have profound consequences. In this scenario, temperatures across swaths of South America, Africa and the Indian subcontinent would regularly hit 110 degrees Fahrenheit, and consequently people will suffer. Indeed, every summer thousands will die from conditions associated with extreme temperatures, predict scientists. Furthermore, it's predicted that this level of global warming would cause the Himalayan glaciers and others in the region to shrink by 30 percent. This coupled with population growth would spell near end for water supplies in Asia, and soon European alpine glaciers would follow suit. Earth's rising temperature would, of course, cause the planet's oceans to heat up too. Consequently, this will lead to more acidic aquatic environment, one in which coral reefs everywhere will wither up and die. And it's a problem scientists are already well aware of. Indeed, when we think about global warming, what we should really think about, to be honest, is ocean warming, climate modeler Paul Dirac told Scientific American. But it's not just ocean warming that'll be a problem, say scientists, the water will be rising too. Following a 4 degree Fahrenheit global temperature rise, a corresponding sea level rise of 3 feet would make many Pacific islands uninhabitable. Moreover, millions of people living along the coast, including as many as 13 million Americans, would be displaced as land is engulfed by the sea. Meanwhile, according to projections, by 2200, the world's population will have rocketed. The UN Population Bureau expects it to reach 11 billion, thus putting a huge stress on our planet's limited store of resources. Right now, however, plans are in place for a manned mission to Mars. Indeed, volunteers have already begun the process to become part of the crew that blasts off on the Mars One mission in 2024. By 2050, an international team could have made it to the Red Planet, but scientists warn that if mankind is particularly unlucky, a massive solar storm could well cut off any fledgling Martian colony at any point. Indeed, we know today that the planet's atmosphere has already been stripped by solar wind. By 2300, scientists warn, we could have well reached the peak of the sixth mass extinction, with thousands of species of birds, insects, mammals, and amphibians wiped out. Indeed, out of all the species that have ever existed, 95% have already disappeared, many during events like this. In fact, a recent Stanford University study has suggested that some sort of major die-off is happening already. The study shows without any significant doubt that we're now entering the sixth great mass extinction event, said Bing Professor of Population Studies and Biology, Paul Ehrlich. If the Earth's temperature continues to rise, scientists predict that the polar ice sheets could subsequently collapse. And when the Greenland ice sheet collapses, sea levels will rise by a further 20 feet. Furthermore, some scientists predict that because of the weight of all this ice being removed from the Earth's crust, fault lines will explode into action, causing massive earthquakes and tsunamis across the North Atlantic. Scientists predict that, thanks to climate change and an ever-growing population, India, South America, Africa and Europe will lose arable dry land while well, China, Russia, and the U.S. will gain it. Consequently, already powerful nations will be able to dictate the sustenance of the planet. In light of this battle for resources, it seems sadly inevitable that great conflicts will flare up. Indeed, with a cultural battle already currently raging in the Middle East, it's highly likely that the disappearance of natural resources will inflame even greater clashes. The region could consequently become a place where it's simply impossible to survive. In fact, these resource-driven conflicts are actually already taking place in the region, with countries battling over control of limited water supplies. And as more and more people vie for the same resources, things can, it seems, only get worse. 
By the 24th century, we could well have re-established contact with Mars, but scientists predict that the previous settlers might not be able to return to Earth by this point, even if they wanted to. Why? Because there may be too many of us here already. Indeed, we could conceivably send out more settlers to them in an effort to increase the size of the gene pool. According to scientist Grimm predictions, the final nail in the coffin would be when Antarctica's Thwaites Glacier begins to disappear in the late 2400s. In fact, the recession of this important mass is already happening now. But by the close of the 25th century, with the glacier gone, the West Antarctic ice sheet could finally go too. If so, sea levels would rise another 30 feet. And why all this destruction? Because we weren't willing to undergo or even halt the damage we had already done, say scientists. They say that if we were able to limit global warming to under 3 degrees Fahrenheit, much of this destruction could possibly be avoided. The time to act is now, it would seem. Please don't forget to share this video with your friends below. Please don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell to receive everything that's new.